Yo, what's going on, Epic 7 fam? I'm Sue, and this is my Abyss 492 guide updated for 2024. This, up to this point, is probably going to be the most difficult floor you've experienced. The floor boss is going to be Tywin, accompanied by Roman and several Terranor guards that Tywin will spawn throughout the fight. The core mechanic of the fight is the impenetrable shield mechanic. When Tywin goes under 70% or 40% health for the first time, he will get a massive barrier that cannot be dispelled lasting 10 turns. The barrier can also not take any damage from anything other than poison, bleed, burn, or damage dealt to it by guardians such as Arky. So there's really no other way for you to actually puncture the barrier. That means that you got to either build a strategy based around Arky, which requires 60 souls and requires you to survive a massive onslaught of damage, which most new accounts can't do, or build a team built around a damage over time based character. If you are new to the game coming in with the 6th anniversary dash pass event, which is going on as I'm recording this video, the only character that is guaranteed for all players that satisfies that condition is Sigret. But unfortunately, despite my best efforts with my two week old account, I couldn't make it work. So instead, we have to get a little bit creative and consult the statistics and kind of take a look here and see that 56% of the player base uses Kyrus and about 41% uses Spectre Tenebria. These are pretty much the two most powerful poison characters, the most powerful damage over time characters in the game. Kyrus is a three star that almost everyone should have access to, but it's not guaranteed. Spectre Tenebria is part of the Moonlight Blessing, which most new players should have taken her from their Moonlight Blessing. But in case you didn't take her, it's really hard for me to actually use her in a video because, well, yeah, it's kind of bad if I make a guide that has an incredibly rare character and you took somebody else because, well, Spectre didn't strike your fancy as a new player. Therefore, our only legitimately like viable option for this floor is Kyrus. There are probably some other workarounds. Like I said, you could potentially use Sigret, but that's incredibly difficult, I feel like, for a brand new account. So my recommendation for this floor for a brand new player is going to be the four units that you see on your team. Let's break them down now. First up is Adventure Raz. This is going to be our tank. I've said it in a bunch of videos that I put out since the 6th anniversary event has started. This is the best knight in all of PvE in the entire game. He is free. Everyone has access to him. Please complete, complete the specialty change as soon as possible after beating episode 2. This character really is that important. As for stats, just get him as tanky as you could get with over 65% effectiveness. Boots should have speed as the main stat. Ring as health percentage as the main stat. Necklace as health percentage as the main stat. Artifact should be Aureus. If you don't have it for whatever reason, your next best option is going to be something like Adamant Shield. Try to have as many skill levels as you can on him. Have him 6 stars, 6 uh, Awoken, 6 star Awoken, and get pretty much as much as you get done here in the skill tree. All of that will go a long way to making your Abyss journey that much easier. As for healers here, we have Tamarin, pretty much the best PvE character in the entire game. Doesn't necessarily need to be level 60, you can do level 50, it will be fine, but please try to have her max Awoken if possible. Make sure that you have Song of the Forest at plus 7, Shining Star at plus 1. As for actual gear, doesn't really matter too much. Just have boots as speed main stat, health percentage on the ring, health percentage main stat on the necklace. As for the artifact, Wanderer's Potion Vial is pretty much my go-to choice, but feel free to use any other option that you so choose, including the three-star Prophetic Candlestick. For our primary damage dealer that is not going to use damage over time, I'm going with Commander Lorena because she is a three-star, freely available from the game's connections, and is in general, just the best single target PvE character in the game. It's between her and Sermia. And, well, both of them are free, so you probably should choose one of them. As for the gear, it is simply just the gear acquired from the 6th anniversary event. If that event has already passed and you're watching this video in the future, please use the attack set that is given to you from the Adventurer's Path. Artifacts should be Daydream Joker, as it gives you by far the most amount of damage for a character in PvE. It massively outdamaged is even most of the five-star artifacts in the game. Finally, we come to Kyrus. Kyrus is a interesting one. I recognize that new players don't have a lot of epic blooms, so you might not have the ability to level 60 her. 
Level 50 is fine, but please make sure that you have her 5-star Woken. The character has really terrible stats. You're going to need all of the bulk that you possibly can. Because if she gets hit by a stray hit, there's a good chance she could die in one hit if you actually don't have that investment. As for the skill levels, it's pretty much required that you have her at least plus 5 on Venomous Arrow, plus 3 on Corrosive Volley, and plus 2 on Preparation. Like, that's non-negotiable. It makes the fight so much harder if you don't actually have at least that as the minimum. As for the actual kind of stats that we're playing here, make sure you have effectiveness over 65% for this floor if you can. Artifact doesn't really matter. I'm just using Daydream Joker, but you can play literally anything that you want here. Equipment doesn't really matter. Just make sure your boots are speed. And then to make things easier for you, you can either go effectiveness on the ring or health percentage will make it a little bit easier if you can somehow get over 65% without it. And then here on your necklace, again, health percentage as your main stat. The faster you can make Kyrus, the easier life will be. So for me, I can only get to 210 speed or so on my new account. But if you have a more experienced account or you just happen to get really high speed rolls, if you can go faster, please do so. It will make your life so much easier. The faster you can make Kyrus, the easier this floor will be. All right, with the team out of the way, let's take a look now and see how the fight is actually done in real time. Should we get started? The first floor is fairly simple. You just want to dispatch the adds because they do decent damage. They also buff the floor boss. The floor boss basically has a 30% chance to actually counterattack anytime you hit it. Don't really want to have to deal with that if there's extra adds floating around and extra boss from no the crystal. So we'll fire off our defense buff right away here with Raj just to start. Build up some souls. Tamarin hits the crystal just because she's type disadvantage versus blue. And this brings us to Kyrus. So if you don't know, Kyrus' S1 applies poison to a target. Her S2 extends the duration of all debuffs on a target, or I should say all targets since it's an AoE attack. And the S3 massively soups up the effectiveness of one of her two moves. So, we'll use S3. And we'll start with S1 to get a bunch of poison stacks off rip. Meanwhile, we'll have Lorena focus on the other app. Breakthrough, hopefully get a pushback. Normally, we would hold Command Strike for Raz for Soul Burns, but it's early enough and we're going to have infinite time to reset all of our cooldowns so we can just burn it early here. We use S2 on Tamron just to top off Raz a little bit. Can use this to extend our duration on Debuffs. As you can see, there's two there now. We don't have to worry about that other mouse. He's basically just dead. My spear will protect everyone. Lorena walks this down. All right, let's have Roz this. hit the crystal. I'll take it. You can't close your eyes. Tamron hit the crystal. I'm ready. Hit that mouse. Love we'll Lorena. Finish it off. Should we get started? I'm scared. As two, since we've taken some A, we chip. You can have Kyrus fire off a poison here on the boss. My spear will protect everyone. Right through on the crystal. If I must fight. Raz for the defense boss since we're about to get ultied. Luckily no stun. We're not gonna idle mode ever on the first floor. But I can fight. Extend the poison to two. And now we're just going to walk the boss down with a bunch of S1s. Alternating between S1 and S2 on Tamarin until we're ready to go to the next floor. The souls that we get at the start will be super beneficial to us. Should we get started? I will continue my training. I... I'll protect you. I'm a bit sleepy, but I can fight. The order of the shield does not back down. I'm scared. Yep. Should we get started? I'm ready. My spear will protect everyone. Alright, now we go into floor two. 
Basically, Kyrus is going to focus on Tywin. Everyone else will jump on Roman. So, since Tywin's first move is going to cleanse all debuffs on all characters and all buffs from your characters, there's no reason to use Rouse's S3 at the start. So, instead, we're going to just Soul Burn into Roman and pray that we get a defense break. I hope you're ready. I'm ready. All right, cool. We got a defense break. So, now we can Soul Burn Spiral Breakthrough for big damage. I will continue my training. Come with me. Ooh, lucky dual attack. Now, we might as well, even though we could hit Roman, but because he's behind Tywin here, he's going to get cleansed before we do anything. So rather than have Kyrus do nothing, we might as well try to attempt to deal 15% damage to Tywin with the poison. Only got 10, but we'll take it. See, it's instantly cleansed. And now we have to wait for Kyrus' combo to come back up. So for now, everyone else in on Roman. Soul burn again. Hit Tywin. We'll go back to having everyone else hit Roman. So Roman's down now. So we don't have to deal with him for the rest of the fight. We're going to save Spiral Breakthrough for after Tywin's ult. We can throw this out just for the souls. And now we want to build back up idle mode and save it until after Tywin's ultimate. I'll protect you. Saving our combo for when we get to actually the shield phase, which is coming up in a second. Remember, it's at 70%. So now he's under 70%. The next attack will put up the barrier. So this is our first of two barriers. And since it can only be damaged by dots, this is our time to unload our combo. Again, saving our skills. Can't deal any damage, so again, save our skills. That's cleansed. Now we can go back to actually just doing damage to him. I will continue my training. You can't close your eyes. I'll protect you. The order of the shield does not back down. I'm a bit sleepy. Alright, so we have our combo next turn. So this is gonna defense break us, which kinda sucks. But this is why we held idle mode to full cleanse. So for Roz, we want to try to kill one of these Terranor guards, so we're gonna soul burn and pray for a defense break. My spear will protect everyone. Hopefully push it back. I'm scared. Listen. To my stock. Shine free. And now what we can do is we could kind of cheese Tywin a little bit. So we could go for the combo. And now he's got five stacks of poison, right? As long as we don't hit him with anybody other than Kyrus and he's still over 40%, you could theoretically just cheese him out with poison from here. You could just die in one hit if you get enough stacks on him. But right now, though, we really want to try to get this Terranor guard down because it's going to do a lot of damage to us otherwise. So you see, we're going to take a lot of damage here in a second. You see, Raz took a beating there. Depending on your RNG, your run might be over there. All right, so he is currently at 5, 10, 15, 20. So if we hit him again, it should, in theory, proc the barrier. But for right now, we're just going to chance it here with this. See? So now he's got the barrier again. Everyone else just focuses on the Terranor guards because they can't do anything to Tywin, so might as well. This won't be an easy fight. And then we're going to have Kyrus try to attack Tywin because that barrier, he's going to heal up every turn. As long as we don't get rid of it. Go to soul burn just because we have a, a ton of souls right now. No reason not to use them. Just get some bonus damage in here. The faster you can get these guards out of here, the better. You see, they do a lot of damage. 
Really got to make sure we get these out of here as fast as we can. I will continue my training. I'm ready. This will be the last now, if we get all three here... There you go. That should knock him out. I'm assuming we crit here. That should kill that Terran regard. Alright, let's do this. Hmm. So now there's nothing impeding us from hurting Tywin. That said. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go for Tywin here. There's nothing left to worry about, right? So we want to extend the duration of the poison. I will continue my training. I'm scared. We're gonna idle here. And now I know that we should be worried about this defense break, but he's already got 15% damage showing. I'm confident we can burst him down before that. Let us fight together. My spear will protect everyone. Emergency! I'm a bit sleepy, but I can fight. Listen to me, see. I'm ready. Alright, so he is basically dead. Tywin is dead. There you go. So, unfortunately, couldn't do this run actually with one of the connection heroes or the free hunt heroes, but hopefully this is something that can make it up to you. If for some reason you don't want to use Kyrus, I know she's a very polarizing character because she's a three star that's only ever really used in specific abyss situations like this, and you do have Spectre Tenebria, feel free to use it. If you have any other questions, or if you have a different team that you want to suggest to other players, let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll see you all in Abyss Floor 93. Later now.